we're gonna just jump right into this one. What it's all about is just things that you should know if you're gonna be playing Titanfall in multiplayer. We're gonna be covering attrition, that gives us a little bit of pilot gameplay and a bit of Titan, and we bring it all together. So the first tip for you guys is about grunts, because grunts is something that sometimes just fades into the background for some people. You know, between everything else going on, I can see how that can happen, especially when you start getting into autopilot. But the thing is that grunts are super important in this game. They build up your multiplier, they get you your toys faster than everybody else. But the problem is that every time you shoot them, you end up on the radar and someone comes after you. So there is a risk reward balance that you want to try to, uh, well, you got to figure that out for yourself. But I'll give you some quick tips. Certain levels are harder to do this on than others just because they're just more congested. Where the grunts are is typically where the action is. So you don't really want to be shooting at grunts when you're anticipating pilots. Look on the bottom left, the yellow is my multiplier, the blue is what I've already earned. You die, you lose that multiplier. So we're going to just do this again. And I want to talk a little bit more about it because I think it's something you really want to get used to doing. Killing grunts is great because the risk reward just against them should be pretty low. So if you know that you're not going to be contested by pilots or titans, you're going to be making out like a bandit by just getting essentially free points that make everything go faster in your favor. Faster toys, faster titans. Faster toys are the uh, the boost, right? Your battery packs, your amped weapons, uh, Apollo Pilot Nova if you're that kind of person. And these are the things you want to be using to your advantage to again get your titan. Look at my multiplier. I think if I kill one more pilot, uh, we'd be there. Oh, somebody got their radar jammer. Good for you because I didn't see any grunts. I came out here and there goes my multiplier. So by playing it slower, I actually could have gotten my Titan faster, or you could have gotten your boost quicker than somebody else. And that's what this is all about, is trying to find that balance. You obviously get a lot more points for pilots, but the risk is typically, again, higher. Reapers gives you more points and grunts. All these things, you're going to have to judge out how long each one of these actions take and just how safe you can accomplish them. Because if you're already close to your Titan, it may be more worthwhile to you to actually just run it slower in order to get your stuff quicker. So, play around with that. And we're going to move on to weapons. Uh, you notice my alternator. I have a good idea of what I'm doing with my alternator. When to let it fly, when to tap fire. I had six bullets. That is enough for a kill. I run extended magazines because I want to try to get as many kills as I can from each magazine. If I have enough time to reload, it's typically because I'm probably safe. If not, you know, I got my secondary. So there's a lot of things that I know that are going to work for my gun because I'm more familiar with it depending on how many bullets you think you're going to need. Like the R101 is going to be completely different than an alternator. Our shields block stuff. This is just general knowledge, but what you can actually do with that, well, uh, you know, you get a lot of tools, but and you can use them in so many different ways. Guns all have their unique little flavors, so whatever gun you're using, just know that there is actually more to it than just holding down the button. Uh, well, not for the L-Star. Actually, with the L-Star, it's the opposite. You do want to hold down the button because you don't want to be caught on the little uh, animation that happens when you let go of the trigger, right? That's why it has such a long magazine because you actually have to do that to use it efficiently. Most guns are not going to be like that. Every gun actually has a sweet spot for full auto and taps. Almost every gun does, and you have to learn that. Things like the Volt, well, you can actually just hold that down steady. It has some of the best uh, or the easiest recoil to control than any other gun. But for some reason, when you aim down sights with it, that goes out the window. And that's actually for a few of the guns. That's why you see a lot of people that just use uh, any of the submachine guns or things like the R101. You don't actually always want to aim down sights because a lot of the time it actually makes things harder. This is still part of the limit testing. We are going to be taking on a pilot and a titan. I'm just kind of trying to decide what do I actually need to do. I'm not as concerned about the pilot at this point. I just wanted to put on some pressure on the titan. And now it seems that he's gone because he probably knows that one charge shot from me is going to blow him up. What can this pilot really do to me? He can hit me with that, yeah. You can hit me some more with it. And what could I do about it? I got a good idea of what can actually kill me right now. And if you want to be comfortable in this game, you have to have a general idea of what those things are. Check it out, a Spitfire with zero kills on it. Beautiful. 
This was the exact same game. This is part of the limit testing. There's some things that I know and there's some things I like doing just to kind of try them out. When somebody's aiming a rocket at you in this game, what you want to do is try to line yourself up with where you think they are. Because a lot of times you may not know, so you just have to generally just hazard a guess at where you think they are. So it does give you an indicator. Oh, that thing's going wild all the way to the right, all the way to the left. But generally, I think they're on that rooftop, so that's where I'm focusing on. And what you want to do from there is just go off with like a 15 degree turn. This works pretty much every time. If you know what can kill you in this game, then you know how to avoid it. Let's see if this guy thinks he can really get away. Oh, look at that. He got through the cluster bomb. But one of the other pilots meleeed him. So this is something else. I find that a lot of people forget they can get out of their Titan. So let's let's do a little bit of that. Sure, I didn't get the kill here, but you can see how it's useful. So we are going to cover this because I think it's an important topic. But before we do that... Did you guys just hear what my Titan said? Alright, here's another example. Listen to what he's saying. Looking for hostiles. Oh, he found them? Yeah, well, I found them too at this point. So he's not, like, the best. He's not the most aware Titan I've ever used. But he's true to his word. So listen to what your Titan is telling you. I believe as soon as it does one of the first voice actions, it, it's telling you that somebody's already there. So use that to your advantage if you're going to be somebody that wants to split up. Usually if you have an advantage, a way to maximize that is sometimes to just leave your Titan where it is, let it soak up shots, it kind of uh, baits out the other pilots, and then you finish them off with... Well, as a pilot, I think uh, as a pilot, you can sometimes kill a lot faster than a Titan. If there are Titans on the field, then that's probably not going to be the case, and you're going to just want to go into your own Titan as well. And that is one of the shortcuts in this level. This level is just full of them. Every level is full of them if you use grapples. So you may want to become familiar with them. If you want to find out, well, just go up there and start exploring. You can get all the way to the rooftops of these uh, structures in the middle, so you can get really high up in this level. Right there, jump, and you can get yourself a little bit of a, a moon boot effect. It gives you this little boost. It's really cool, and it helps you try to line up these jumps when you're trying to go in through windows and stuff like that. And I think you should do a combination of uh, pilot and titan gameplay. Again, it depends on how many titans they have, because you don't want to get out of your titan if you think uh, another titan is going to jump on it. You know, like, that's not going to go well for you, for you. But these situations right here work out amazing, because typically they just end up having their anti-titan guns out and... Well, unless you know how to correctly use your anti-titan gun, you're usually not going to be killing pilots with it. I use a laser, so, you know, there's an exception to the rule. And I'm actually going to show you guys that because I still want to talk to you guys more about weapons. You know I've talked to you in the past about picking up other weapons, and that is even a part of uh, going up against grunts, right? They can always drop all these weapons you may want. Like a double take from a grunt is actually pretty good. Taking other pilots' weapons that are fully decked out, that means they have attachments, is, is even better, you know? And right now, limit testing, I know what this Scorch is capable of, and he ejected in a bad spot. I didn't notice at the time because there was smoke in the way, but uh, he ended up ejecting underneath the ship. I was hoping to meet him up here. It's not going to work out this time, but, you know, that's fine. Again, these are the things you want to try out whenever you can, especially when you're winning. I think it's, it's the perfect time to limit test because you can afford to and you can still win the game at the same time. And technically, you're going to be even better off for it because you're going to have that experience. And that's what I'm building off of, a lot of experience. Sometimes in some levels, you're better off getting out of your Titan because there are just spots that you're not going to be able to attack as a Titan. And then why do you want to be waiting around? All you're doing is giving them an opportunity to get their own Titan, right? So if you have that momentum, continue to push it. And I think I've been limit testing this game for three years, so... You know, I, I've built up a lot of experience just based on some things, and trying to make these decisions quickly is typically what dictates if something's going to work or not. I've already shown you guys this before. I can already go into automatic, and I was actually trying to snag the kill by at least putting one bullet in them. Right? So that's building off of the experience because I've had it happen already where I don't get the points. So now when I do it, I'm, I'm now trying to get the points, right? It's trying to push it to the next level. So this is something I've been doing a lot of recently. I've kind of been going into games and it all started here because I was trying to grab a gun and I'm like, oh, I didn't even put a, uh, 
a scope on it. So by the time I go to do it, it's too late and it tells you right there it won't take effect until my next pilot spawn. And I could easily just kill myself and go get a gun, but I'm like, you know what, I'll just pick up whatever there is. And it gives me a chance to just experiment a lot. I, I also think it's fun and look at this scope, it's hideous. And I get to experience the game uh, in the way that some other people do. And sometimes I understand it and sometimes I don't, but what I do always get is uh, is a new way to do something because I'm working with something new. Yeah, I don't have my laser, couldn't get him when he ejected, but uh, <laughs> you could still kill him with the Thunderbolt anyways, right? And why would I be doing this if I had uh, different weapons? It's like, you just wouldn't. So when you have what you got, that's what you work with and that's just the way it is. And the beauty of this game is that you can constantly be changing it around. You get tired of one weapon? Well, just grab a different one. You want two primaries? Do it. You want two secondaries? Do it. You want three anti-titan guns? Go ahead. But it's actually a lot harder to find. Uh, I had a game where I'm like, I'll only use a re until I pick something up. And I may share that game with you guys. And I noticed there was a big problem when I'm like, oh, there's a lot of titans here and all I have is a re. It was actually a lot harder than it sounds to find an anti-titan gun sitting on the ground. I should have gone looked for it off of grunts. Yes, see? There's always a solution somewhere there. Nice shotgun. I don't particularly like this shotgun. I'm more of a massive guy. But I think we're going to get an opportunity. I'm sensing something nearby. Where is it? Oh, right there. I see him. I see him. I see him. Shotgun! Nah, uh, just a good old-fashioned melee. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But that's it for this episode, guys. Again, thank you all for joining me. I'm Paper. Cut to you. And I'll see you all next time.